All right, let's see what's next on the quest. So we gain 10 renown. Uh, securing the breach is certain cause for celebration, but as we speak, the Rift Lord roams these lands, and as long as he is alive, there is a good chance we are still under a silent threat that grows with every day. Leave the defense and rebuilding of Silver Keep to the remaining men. You're well, you're well traveled, and you have the best chance of hunting down the Rift Lord's trail. Traveling in the wilderness can be tough, so you're going to want supplies. I've given orders to Dana to stock up. You'll find her at the inn. Okay. Ah, Captain. Shirt. Ah, the Captain shared a word about you. Dana's the name. If you're heading out into the wilderness, you'll need to ensure you have ample supplies. Hunger is no good if you have to get into a fight. I've prepared as much as, as you can carry. Anything beyond that is on your own dime. We've got mouths to feed here, too. Safe travels to you. Okay, we already had 30 supplies because I think I bought them. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. We don't, and we, we don't have any exhaustion at the moment. With the defeat of the cultists, it seems that we have regained control of our waypoints. I've prepared a little something for you in case of that situation calls for it. These are portal scrolls. Uh, with this, you'll be able to create a portal that connects you back to the garrison's waypoint. Save it for emergencies. If you try to describe more of these, uh, I'll try to describe more of these, but the material components are difficult to obtain and it will be pricey. At any rate, let's head over to the fort to talk to the captain when you're ready. I've got some information to share with you. Okay, our first portal scroll. Oh, this is already refreshed again. Oh, the visored helm was slightly better. Grant's follow through plus one melee attack has deal eight damage to targets in two cells. Interesting. Oh, this is our first pair of gloves. I think Alphonse probably doesn't have any gloves. Cool song. And then what, what is your... Catherine, we gave you the flail, which at the time seemed good, but now I'm unconvinced. All right, we'll, we'll leave it for the moment, though. Because we could give her strength, or I guess we give her intelligence. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I can equip directly from there. That would be interesting. Probably can. Yeah, more hidden blades. Seems good. Ragged boots versus... Yeah, I'm definitely valuing stats over checks. We'll see if that comes back to bite me. Winnie, good to see you. Captain, I've, I've been piecing together the information that you have so far. Based off the encounter at the library and at the Battle of the Breach, from what I can gather, the Rift Lord is intent on completing a complex Vanai ritual that would bridge our existence with that of the spirit world or the realm of the dead. To achieve this, the ritual requires three things, blood sacrifice, souls, and a location with certain topological features. I suspect the cultists that follow him are providing the blood sacrifices. The last two, I can hazard a guess. There are natural ley lines of energy that run deep in the earth. No doubt their energies have waned since the time of the Vanai and their departure, but they are still active regardless. Hey, Lucas. These ley lines connect and merge all of the lands, and here in Westmire, there is one known location. Historically, the old burial grounds. They're there the ancient kings were buried. An educated guess, which I concur with. If you are to find the Rift Lord, that would be a good place to start looking. Heading out and securing the burial ground waypoint would be the first good step. We'll be ready to keep you stocked up when you return. Okay, so I guess... Uh, keep watch on your supplies. You don't want to starve out there. You can stock up back at the inn anytime, or find opportunities to get more supplies uh, if you set up camp. There used to be an overlook that served as a good camping spot a few miles before the waypoint, if memory serves, uh, still serves me right. Okay, so, all right, so we are going this away. Very nice. Level seven, we grossly out-level this. Uh, do we want to switch up our team, though? 
we might because bertram is sitting oh at level 10. oh does everyone level up uh no that doesn't appear so there's some type of leveling up going on for now let's put bertram in and let's uh let's check to make sure that there's no gear that bertram needs uh looks like not learn a skill add two stat points we have two to spend so let's unlock this get our dexterity pop in a little bit and then let's learn a skill i've been doing a lot from the sharpshooter one let's let's continue that direction cycle and draw two prime shot cards Ooh, bow draw seems really good for adding consistency let's grab that Okay. Oh, and then did I pick up... At one point, there was something that I could pick up. I will give you that. No reason not to. I don't know about not about this one. Plus, it's an intelligence item. I don't know. We also have throwing daggers and arctic. Oh, we need to attach an ability to this. So wait, this makes... What does this do? Attached attacks, why can I only attach a defend? Weird. Huh, interesting. I think I'm starting to get into it, uh, Lucas. I will certainly ask if I have any questions. I appreciate the support for sure. When user source 60 HP, dang, that's a lot of HP. Okay, let's, uh, let's give this team... A go. We're going to be trying to blow things up with this team. And what are these? Silver Keep Library. Okay, we've already done that. So we're going to head this away. I like, I really like that the silhouettes are our team, as a side note. Oh my gosh, these, these things aren't going to know what, uh, what, what's coming. So I think this is going to. Did that not apply the burn? I thought that was supposed to apply the burn. Hmm. Okay, we'll just do that. Slightly underwhelming turn. So let's see. We have improved arrow. We kind of we kind of dodge. We have we're not going to get any kills, I don't think, unfortunately. So I'm going to I'm going to draw one just hoping uh did still didn't get it. Whoa, Sentry. Sentry going first there was a surprise. So I think if I move down one here, then they're both going to be attacking. Yeah. And we can take one six-point hit, so we just slash to get rid of the other guy. And we even get a little bit of healing. Okay, the big bad has entered the chat. Okay, what does our turn look like here? Draw a card, it was a stab, so we do gain an AP. So we're at five, which I think means we just get to do everything we want to do. And I don't think we need our dodge, so we'll get rid of that. Ooh, why can't we hit you, though? Is that a range limitation? That looks like it might have been. 
Now can I hit you? Interesting. Okay. What did you take a point of damage from? Chill. Hmm. So this should trigger kill streak. Ooh, and then Bowdraw brings him back. Ooh, yeah. Yep, confirmed. I like Bowdraw. We pick up some Renown, some money, another Null Stone. We haven't really gotten into crafting, and Remove 3 Exhaustion seems good. Elite enemy icons. I will keep an eye. Ooh, Sigmund's Rebuke. Grants follow through. Plus one melee attack. Follow through deals five more damage. While low life gains seven guard at turn start. Oh, that's interesting. Armageddon Impaler. I think I'm going to grab this one. Because it's the, the legendary one. Now, why did you get one chill? Because I gave you this. Apply chill to self if you did not move during the turn. Maybe I don't want this this equipped. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's I don't think that's very good for us. And then attack damage on spells. I'm not casting spells, so I don't know why I equipped that there. Uh, We'll have to we'll have to work on on our itemization i think <laughs> all right we got a little fight here some level sevens again requires one day consumes one supply okay oh you got little swirlies on the ground interesting So I think we can blow someone up because this gives six vulnerable. Then we have far shot. Do we go for the big one? Yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, and it's going, it's going early too. That's good. But we are not all moving. Oops, all right, so we're still on our turn. Wait, why did you get hit with shock? Oh, there was one underneath? It's hard to see. All right, noted. Uh, whoopsie. So let's see, so who's going early? Wait, who is this person? Soil hag. Which one is the soil hag? Footpad. This is the soil hag. Okay. Don't want to move to that one because I applied a bunch of shock. Uh, hidden blade. We'll observe. Now, why did that not trigger the zappy thing for him? That's an interesting question. Uh... Ooh, I don't really want to move. Actually, I guess I can just swap these two. Now we have two actions left. Wanted to get that one because they were moving sooner. Gonna take a hit from this one, I guess. Not much we can do about it. And then I'm hoping you don't go first so I can finish the fight. Oh, now this now there's one under you? Uh, Alright. We learned an important lesson there. Let's see. So improve arrow. Bow draw. 
And that finishes the turn. All right. But yeah, we uh, we definitely stood in some hazards there. So let's see. You have one. We get our talent. Nice. So let's see. More maximum health. More max HP. One-handed melee proficiency. Blunt weapons and scepters. Two-handed swords. I don't know, we haven't used fury yet. We don't have a shield. Victor's Herald. Uh, Victory's Herald seems interesting. Let's go for Limit Break, though. More SP. I think we're using the SP that we have. Safe Passage. Party gains five supplies. Remove two exhaustion. So should we camp before we go to this? Probably not. Okay. Spiders. Have I edited the deck, Lucas? Uh, I believe so. But now that you say it, I'm less sure. Nine times three. Nine times four. Okay. Let's go for the ones that are attacking. Probably should use the opener first. Oh, hazard under my swordman. Gosh darn it. The, the hazards under people are not very visually... Uh... So because we finished before the swordsman went, we didn't get punished by that. But uh, I do need to pay closer attention to that. Thank you for the heads up. So we can refine here. Increase initiative, skill rank. I want to get this assassin one, so let's do... Let's do this, and let's see what we can... Hidden Blade gains more critical. Eh. Stealth attack gains more damage. That seems tempting. Yeah, let's do stealth attack. Oh! Hey, Wide Force, welcome. Uh, so I had a question here for someone who is familiar with this game. I do actually have one thing that has been confusing me. So I so Death Fang, I added back kick to Death Fang. Attached attacks apply six burn. Trigger once per turn. Once per turn, you can draw a card on kill. Isn't back kick an attack? Isn't that what that sword means? Why is this not... Why is this not working? When I used back kick, it did not light the thing on fire. Does it have to do damage? Now it's yellow. Before it wasn't yellow. All right. Oh, this is immutable. So maybe that one doesn't work. Maybe we'll go with this one. I'm going to try swift strike here. But I don't know. I thought I could use it on back kick, and I thought I was being clever. But let's try Swift Strike now. Okay, we're relatively healthy. Campfire. All right, so now the game is going to teach us about camping. We've already camped, but... Let's see what our options are.
Offer a gambling service cannot reroll choices. I don't understand what that does. Uh, okay. Let's do armor care. I assume the tasty meal. Oop, I used both there. Uh, oh. Random legendary jewelry. Oh, for three of these? Okay, so we don't have enough of these, so we're not going to be doing that. All right. Two campfire options are very good. Okay, so since we, we need three to be able to do the gambling thing, I think I'm just going to leave and we'll save up. And then we'll do that, we'll do that. I guess I'm probably using a lot of supplies, but this is all I needed. And then I think we're done here. Well, yeah, I just, I, I've only seen one. Uh, so I think we're just done here. Because we're full health, so we don't need to do anything more. Uh, hero increases a skill's rank, gain three exhaustion. Oh, so we could be doing that and then getting rid of it, couldn't we? Oh, and if we had fate, we could spend it here. I need to pay attention to this too. Oh boy. I think... I think I'm still not taking full advantage of this, to be sure. Uh... Recover one exhaustion. Draw a warm meal. Draw a special activity card. This has a green dot. What does that mean? Not sure. Don't need a tasty meal. We don't need a happy hour because no one's exhausted. Oh, we can do this. Forage to gain one to three supplies. I don't want to gain three exhaustion, though. Okay. Gain one exhaustion. I don't want to do this. That's, I, well, so wait, I could do this and then also share a drink. So let's do that. We'll do, oh, wait, you already have. So wait. I think I think I can do that. Then I'm going to hang on to this. Pass an hour. Pass two hours. We get the six supply. It said share a drink. And you're telling me it only affects one person? <laughs> uh, let's see. Because we draw a special activity card. But now I think I have one exhaustion from doing that. Target hero gains one exhaustion. Uh, intrusion cards have no effect. Don't bother. Okay, I don't think that went well. Uh, still figuring out the system here, but we ended up with one exhaustion. I don't think that's the end of the world. Activate this waypoint to secure a foothold in the region. The Moors are home to outlaws and more recently cultists. Ah, the waypoint is just up ahead. It should allow for quick travel time back to the garrison. You've activated the waypoint. Click on the waypoint to teleport back to the garrison. Okay. I mean, is that what I want to do? Uh, okay. Back to the garrison. That's what it told me to do. Now we have two portal scrolls. I don't know where the second one came from. So let's see. Before we talk to Captain Roderick... Let's remove our exhaustion, right? And then also, does that mean, does that refill the map with enemies? It does. All right, I think we're over-leveled at the moment, so I'm not going to bother going out and clearing things up. Uh, the burial grounds waypoint has been attuned to the garrison. This will enable swift travel between the area from now on. 
As for the Rift Lord's location, the grounds contained various catacombs that he could conceivably be residing in. The ley lines connect in the area, but the maps we have aren't detailed enough. There's some guesswork to be done, I'm afraid. So it seems. Traveler, you'll have to investigate each of the three crypts in the area to find the Rift Lord's hideout. Okay. Assume those are on the map. Indeed they are. Okay, well, let's, uh, I don't know if there's value to cleaning up the stuff around here except for the experience, but actually, we just picked up the armor crate and that, so let's, uh, and I also don't know if we want to do these events or not. Let's see. A glistening yellow feather lands on your shoulder. Uh, it seems a tad too heavy to be an ordinary feather. Upon closer inspection, you realize it's made of gold. Oh, we'll take two fate, I think. We're doing well on gold. And we'll do this event. Making your way through a dingy back street, street, your progress is suddenly halted by an attempted ambush. Three ruffians lying in wait on the rooftops uh, fling out their nets, uh, hoping to snag some easy prey. All heroes will do a re reflex check. Re re reflex check. Well, we have two dex heroes, so this is good news, I think. Okie doke. Ooh, we're getting decent experience for that, too. Well, this could be the bad one. Yep. All right. Lucas will be going late in the game. Oh, did I just click reroll? That's not where that button should be. <laughs> well, we wasted a fate. That's frustrating. We just got those. Okay, I don't I don't hate Oh wow, he's still he still rolled ahead of everyone else. That's pretty funny. Uh So I have three of three. We're, this guy's gonna evaporate for sure. I'm starting to think we may just, yep. All right, I think they ambushed the wrong folks. Uh... <laughs> Picking up that renowned, a map node has been modified. So what is this? What? How? How so? Area grants four supply on clear. We don't need it. I don't know how long that hangs around. Let's do. Uh, let's do the exploration mini game. I think it's just. Well, let's see if we can. We're going to get busted, I think. Oh, it moves before we move? Noted. All right. Thought I was being clever there. But this seems like a better... Okay, so we do that, and then, so now we can't, we can travel here, but we're going to get busted, I think. Nope, we didn't. Okay. Because each time we, we go to the stairs, we reset it, which is interesting. Two supplies, we don't care. Hold on. I need to check these again. Uh, contains random item. Scout enemy location. Set up some false tracks to mislead the enemies that might wander by. Okay, I think I'm going to make a beeline for the fountain. I feel like I'm getting hemmed in here. Ooh, that was close. Hey, but I got the heal. Nice. All right, we're getting better at that one at least. Camping, still needs some work, but. Is 
this mini game you can change what each hero does oh interesting where does that live in the in the setup also what is edit deck wait can you just remove cards from your deck anytime you want i thought you had to wait to refine your deck that's interesting So let's see, where would, so we have heroes, equipment, we have synergies, everybody's synergy is improvise. I haven't looked at the other synergies. I should check what they are. Usable only if not the first to act, raise initiative by 13 for every remaining AP. End turn, interesting. Give half your guard to target ally. Ooh, share guard I could see being interesting on our melee character. Ah, I see, in mission. Okay, so right now we are on dispatch enemies. Remove a random monster from the area. Reveal a bonus rest point or reveal a bonus shrine. Sure, let's try that one. Uh, scout an enemy location or reveal a bonus viewpoint. I don't know what that one does. Uh, disarm all traps on the map. Sniff for gold. Fills the map with gold piles. Oh, that's interesting. Limited teleportation. Seems interesting. It says random, but I think it's worth playing with. Okay, so we have to do all three of these. Let's do this fight to warm up. Ah, I see. So once we get outside, or is everything consuming? No, it's, it seems like only once we get out of here does it start consuming supplies to move around. Reality warp, you say? All right, let's see. So hidden blade... I think we should shadow step to here. Then we get the full observe. This was a underwhelming round. Uh, I expected that to be better. Let's tumble. Can't, can't cross the whole way, unfortunately. With that shot, at least. This one's doing damage, so I'd rather do that. And then I'm just going to move to get us in formation-ish. Just short. On both of these, actually. Well, that's some that's some armor. Oh, I missed that this guy was hitting the back. Gotta gotta work on that one. Let's see. Ah, uh, and he has thorns now? Oh, and didn't die. Oof. I guess I should have dodged up first. All right, this is a bit of a dud turn. I think I'm just going to get rid of them. Okay, this is this is going to work out well though. Probably should have done the poison hit first on this guy. Okay, so he is hitting the front now, at least. Now, we can't heal anyone else. So we want to start by putting the bleed up. Then the vulnerable. All right. 
and then it's all over. All right, we got we got thrashed a little bit. I need to be more careful with uh, with the locations that things happen. Do I want to set up a campfire? Yeah, we'll probably recover. We're a little. I guess I can go to this healing node. Uh, now we're in better shape. All right. Okay, first catacomb. 